Good evening. I'm George Miller, SCO's Vice President for Institutional Advancement. It's my privilege to welcome you to Southern College of Optometry's 34th Annual Convocation and Awards Ceremony. This event is a time to celebrate the successes of our institution. It is through individual and collective actions that SCO achieves these accomplishments. SCO also appreciates the support of our alumni and donors whose support enables us to recognize outstanding student achievement tonight. At this time, I would like to introduce our president, Dr. Lewis Reich, for his opening remarks. Thank you, Mr. Miller and welcome to everyone watching online. Ordinarily, we would be privileged to have you all in attendance, including past and present members of our Board of Trustees, alumni, friends, and family. The year 2020 was originally envisioned by our profession as the year of the optometrist. The coronavirus pandemic has impacted the entire world, and SEO was no exception. However, I take great pride in how our faculty, staff, and students have responded to this historic challenge. Working together, the SEO campus is now into our fourth month since reopening. And it was a point of pride to welcome the class of 2024 to campus last month. SEO's mission reflects that our students are the primary stakeholder in all that we do. Faculty and staff must challenge mentor, guide, counsel, and instruct our students. Later in the program, Dr. Campbell will talk about the accomplishments this team has made in fulfilling our mission during this past year. Let me take the time to express their appreciation of the Board of Trustees, our students, and our alumni. Over the past year, SCO continued to move forward in spite of the challenges posed by the pandemic our students continue to demonstrate academic excellence. This year's entering class had the highest GPA of any class in SDO's history. Our clinical programs also continue to provide our students with the preparation they need to thrive as practitioners. These successes are due to the individual and shared work of the SEO community. Today, we're able to celebrate our achievements together and look forward to the future of our great institution and profession. At this time, I would like to ask Dr. Taylor Keyes to come forward and present the student awards. The awards committee at Southern College of Optometry has the distinct pleasure of reviewing criteria for awards and scholarships and matching deserving students based on their academic and clinical performance, service to the community, and leadership qualities. Additionally, a number of national awards are selected by other professional organizations based on applications and entries submitted to them by SEO students. We are pleased to recognize these individuals today. Before we begin, I would like to recognize the other members of our faculty awards committee. Dr. Mary Bartuccio Valentino, Dr. Jennifer Jones, Dr. Aaron Kerr, Dr. Carrie Leibowitz, Dr. Rena Lapine, Dr. Daniel Powell, Dr. Jennifer Sanderson, Dr. Esla Speth, and Dr. Glenn Steele. During the past academic year, several SCO students received scholarships in recognition of their academic excellence, leadership, and or service. These scholarships were made possible through the generous and consistent financial support of SEO alumni to the annual fund and endowed scholarship fund. Thank you to all who support our students through scholarships and awards. The following individuals are recipients of military service scholarships. From the U.S. Army, Carly Boober. From the U.S. Navy, Bert Ketchum. Each year, the SEO faculty recognizes students who have excelled academically, as well as those who have demonstrated outstanding clinical skills. Basic and Clinical Science Awards for the classes of 2021, 2022, and 2023 were selected by faculty based on performance in the last academic year. 
From the class of 2023, first year clinical science award recipients are Lane Brown, Gabriel Crockett, Seth Jones, Mary Beth Jones, Yu Jamie Cow, Will Kreiser, Kendra Rass, Carrie Sestak, Ashley Shannon, and Caroline Sutton. First year basic science award recipients are Christopher Frampton, Ethan Gerstein, Laurel Heskett, Seth Jones, Will Kreiser, Tanner LaFont, Molly McNally, Adam Reichert, Ashley Shannon, and Caroline Sutton. From the class of 2022, second year clinical science award recipients are Andrew Barrows, Shane Benali, Jessica Crum, Andrew Dahl, Serene Darwish, Abigail Click, Jessica Congelf, Holly Peterson, Christopher Pope, and Macy Sparks. Second year basic science award recipients are Stefania Carino, Alexandria Cloud, Andrew Dahl, Nathan DeClue, Kalina Harrell, Ann McLean, Holly Peterson, Rachel Steele, Lindsay Thornton, and Alexandra Turner. Given in mem memory of former faculty member, Dr. Robert L. Henry, the third year clinical skills award recipients will receive a thousand dollar award. The recipients are Logan Bone, Samantha Davis, Hannah Fan, Ishan Gandhi, Anna Gursky, Samantha Harris, Mead Kendrick, Anna Catherine Lansdell, Kelsey Whitcomb, and Lexi Williams. The following endowed class scholarships recognize outstanding leadership and professionalism by members of the class of 2021, 2022, and 2023. Class of 54, 56, and 59 scholarship, Tessa Lau. Class of 60, 61, and 63 scholarship, Anna Britt. Classes of 64, 65, and 66 scholarship, Gabby McGee. Classes of 68, 69 scholarship, Marie Hugel and Lauren Watson. Classes of 70, 71, 74 scholarship, Caitlin Stakely and Autumn Killip. Class of 1977 scholarship, Casey Krug. Class of 1978 scholarship, Samantha Harris. Class of 1983 scholarship, Lindsay Thornton. Class of 1984 scholarship, Jackie Malish. The next two awards were established by the classes of 1997 and 2001 in memory of their classmates. The recipient of these awards were selected to recognize a student in good academic standing who rises to the occasion of the high standards expected of optometry students. Class of 1997 Jimmy Sheridan Memorial Award goes to Nathan Jackson. Class of 2001 Scott Whitaker Memorial Scholarship goes to Morgan Mathis. SU alumni and friends generously support and recognize academic accomplishments and leadership within the student body. As such, the following endowed scholarships and awards have been established in support of SCO students. The first scholarship under this category was established by the founding members of SCO's Alumni Council. The Alumni Council Endowed Scholarship encourages service both to the profession of optometry and to SCO. This year's recipient is Kelsey Whitcomb. The Chuck and Carol Aldridge Endowed Scholarship was established to recognize a student committed to reducing their educational debt. This year's recipient is Casey Krug. The Dr. Allen and Mrs. Susan Barker Endowed Scholarship was established to recognize excellence and a commitment to the practice of optometry. We are pleased to recognize Riley Laster, Monica Bula, and Anita Wynn. 
The next award was established to recognize a deserving student by Dr. Sharon Berger, Moscow, class of 1980, and Billy Moscow, class of 1978. The recipient of the Drs. Berger and Moscow Family Endowed Scholarship is Nathan Keyes. The Charles A. Calloway Endowed Scholarship was established to support deserving students from Georgia in their pursuit of an optometric degree. We are pleased to present these awards to Yeji Kem, Nada Noruzi, and Stefania Carino. Established by Drs. Christopher Levens and Kristen Anderson for the late Dr. Freddie Chang in appreciation of his commitment and dedication to teaching others, the Dr. Freddie Willifred Chang Endowed Scholarship is awarded to a student with demonstrated academic and clinical excellence in the areas of pharmacology and ocular disease management. This year's recipient is Brittany Darnley. This award was established by Dr. Mark Kapperman, class of 1987, in honor of Mr. Jerry Clay, a retired member of the SCO physical plant team, to recognize a student who exhibits the desire to minimize postgraduate debt through efficient use of work-study employment. This year's recipient is Sophia Johnson. Established by Dr. Stan Dickerson, class of 1976, to recognize a student for his or her leadership potential and desire to serve the optometric profession. We are pleased to recognize Marie Hugel. The next award was established by class of 1987 graduate and former alumni council member, Dr. Fred Farias. Pooja Aluju has been selected as the recipient. Dr. John Gazaway, a 1967 graduate and former chairman of the Board of Trustees, established the next award to recognize a student from Iowa with a commitment to the pursuit of private practice optometry. This year's recipient is Jake Haberman. Established by the late Dr. Freddie Chang, the Dr. Charles L. Hain Human Physiology Endowed Award is awarded to Laurel Heskett. Thanks to the generosity of SCO 1952 graduate and author of the Optometric Oath, Dr. Richard L. Hopping, Chisum Chukwemerije has been selected by the Faculty Awards Committee based on an essay on the importance and roles of ethics in carrying out the various tenets of the Optometric Oath. The next award was established by Drs. Melanie Crandall and Craig Swain, class of 1977, in memory of their classmate and friend, Dr. Les Manning. The recipient of the Dr. Les Manning Endowed Scholarship is Seth Jones. Established in loving memory of their father, Beverly Manley and David McAfee are pleased to support scholarly efforts through the Dr. William McAfee OD 51 Scholarship. The inaugural recipient of this endowed fund is Aaliyah Cole. The Malden Family Scholarship was established by M. Irvin Malden, class of 1947, in memory of his mother and aunt. This year's recipient is Jacqueline Brown. The next award was established by a friend of the college and former board member, Wayne W. Pyatt, in support of student excellence. The Wayne W. Pyatt Endowed Scholarship is awarded to Braden Sorensen. The Peggy Remke Memorial Endowed Scholarship was established by Joseph Remke Jr., a 1947 alumnus and the auxiliary to the Tennessee Optometric Association. This year's recipient is Brooke Spivey. The Rosemore Family Endowed Scholarship, which was established to honor the late Frederick M. Rosemore, class of 1948, one of SCO's most faithful supporters and Lifetime Achieve Award recipient, Dr. Rosemore's legacy is continued through the contributions of his family throughout the profession of optometry. We are pleased to recognize Samantha Harris, Morgan Mathis, Samantha Lee, and Alexandria Cloud. The W. David Solens Endowed Scholarship for Leadership was founded by the late Dr. Chang in honor of Dr. Solens, a 1965 graduate of SCO, a past president of the AOA, a recipient of an honorary degree and Lifetime Achievement Award. This year's recipients are Trevor Smith and Matthew Item. 
The final award in this category was established by alumni to recognize clinical excellence and a dedication to the active practice of optometry in the state of Kansas. This year's recipient of the Kansas Alumni Endowed Scholarship is Ann McLean. The next group of scholarships and awards has been funded by the State Optometric Associations and recognizes leadership and overall excellence. The Auxiliary to the Arkansas Optometric Association Endowed Award was created to honor the legacy of the auxiliary and recognize the accomplishments of a student from Arkansas. We are pleased to present this award to Walker Jarrett. The Kentucky Optometric Association scholarship recipients are Lindsay McCallan and Daniel Blomer. The Mississippi Optometric Association Endowed Scholarship is given in honor of Dr. William E. Cochran, SCO President Emeritus and Mississippi native. We are pleased to present this award to Anna Catherine Lansdell. The next scholarship is awarded by the Arkansas Optometric Association in recognition of service to the profession of optometry. The Dr. Milton Webb Scholarship is awarded to Andrew Murphy. A host of corporate partners and ophthalmic industry have provided scholarships and awards to deserving students. The Cooper Vision ASCO Student Relief Program is pleased to recognize Nathaniel Jensen, and Jacqueline Dang. The Ocular Instrument Award is given to Adam Reichert, Brittany Darnley, and Holly Peterson. The Review of Optometry and the Rick Bay Foundation for Excellence in Eye Care Education is awarded to Hannah Fan. The J. Pat Cummings Scholarship, Sonali Doss. The Vision Service Plan Scholarships are given in honor of Drs. Robert D. Sullivan and Michael Uzdan. These awards recognize students who demonstrate excellence in primary eye care and a commitment to enter the independent practice of optometry. This year's recipients are Jonathan Aidy and Alec Waters. The Walmart Project Foresight Award is awarded to Allison Wirt. Today, over $87,000 in scholarships, awards, and equipment have been awarded to members of the SCO student body. I would like for everyone to join me in thanking alumni, faculty, staff, and friends of the college for their generous support in making these awards possible. Most importantly, we should congratulate every member of the SCO student body for their outstanding achievement in optometric education. At this time, I'd like to invite Dr. Bart Campbell, Vice President for Academic Affairs, to the podium for faculty and staff recognition. For optometry students to succeed, there must be a commitment to academic and clinical excellence. SCO's faculty and staff play a key role in the overall success of our students. Our faculty members impart their knowledge and bring years of experience to the classroom and clinic. This past July, Dr. Brian Knight was promoted to assistant professor and Drs. Jennifer Jones and Wilson McGriff were promoted to associate professor. From our veteran faculty members to newer colleagues who have recently joined our ranks, SCO's faculty stand ready to meet the challenge of teaching 21st century optometry students. Our staff members also play a critical role in the college's success and are vital to fulfilling our mission. Staff members protect our campus and property. They help in recruiting the finest optometry students. They provide the resources and tools that our students use on a daily basis. Staff members secure funding for student scholarships and they work in our clinics to provide our students with an effective clinical experience. Our faculty and staff are active in our community and our profession. Within the faculty, you will find active members of the American Optometric Association, the College of Optometrists and Vision Development, and the American Academy of Optometry, to name just a few. Our faculty and staff offer a level of service that positively impacts the SCO community and Memphis at large. Here's further proof of the commitment that can be found at SCO. 
This year, our faculty and staff have contributed over $70,000 in gifts and pledges to support our scholarships and patient care funds. This represents giving by nearly 90% of our faculty and staff, a group that has maintained a high participation in giving for the past decade. This level of steadfast commitment is especially poignant this year as we face the uncertainty of a pandemic and the first ever remote campaign. In fact, this year our faculty and staff have been challenged as never before. With the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, exactly six months ago, the college had to quickly adapt to a closed campus and then later to a much restricted campus as the college reopened. Instruction never ceased, and we have adapted our teaching techniques and physical facilities to keep our campus community safe. The extent of this change could not have been anticipated, and yet our faculty and staff met this challenge successfully. We could not be more proud of the job that they have done. As we begin the fall term, our faculty and staff stand ready to fulfill our mission with pride and excellence as we celebrate the accomplishments of Southern College of Optometry and welcome the class of 2024. Good evening. My name is Erin Mozingo, and I'm the president of the chapter of Beta Sigma Kappa International Optometric Honor Society here at SCO. Tonight, I have the privilege to announce one didactic and one clinical professor of the year on behalf of this group of academically achieving students. As you might imagine, this is no easy task with the large number of knowledgeable and respected faculty we have here at SCO. Both of this year's selected professors stimulate and promote academic excellence in accordance with the mission statement of BSK. By presenting these awards, we hope to honor and extend our gratitude to these faculty for pushing our knowledge and skills to help us become excellent clinicians. This first professor pushes students to be critical and detailed clinicians. In lab, she seamlessly explains and demonstrates new skills so that we have time to maximize and master these difficult techniques. Her passion and excitement for optometry inspire us to grow our knowledge beyond a textbook and become more independent and confident in clinic. Congratulations to BSK's Clinical Professor of the Year, Dr. Mary Hong. Nominated for his consistent and direct teaching style, this professor makes a high volume class manageable and clinically relevant. He eloquently utilizes his bitmoji and a sense of humor to maintain a positive and relaxed classroom environment. We are grateful for this professor's clear and fair expectations that help us to succeed so that we are only rickrolled as a prank on Moodle instead of on exams. Congratulations to BSK's Didactic Professor of the Year, Dr. Scott Enzer. Congratulations to all award recipients tonight and welcome class of 2024. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Marie Hugel and I have the privilege of presenting the Teacher of the Year Awards for the class of 2021. It was an extremely difficult decision because all of our professors deserve to be acknowledged for the amazing work that they do, but a decision had to be made. For the Didactic Teacher of the Year, this professor went above and beyond for our class. Though it was her first year teaching that class, she did a phenomenal job. She continuously wanted feedback so that the class would be interesting and educational to us. Comments from the class are, she did a great job of explaining complex ocular diseases in a way that made sense. She was very patient as an instructor. She was enthusiastic and always willing to further explain a topic. She made a subject much easier to understand, process, and organize. Her ways of teaching and remembering things was always fun and encouraging. And even other comments as, she's the bomb. <laughs> I could go on. Thank you for teaching us a vital class to our education and in a fun and engaging way. I truly believe we will all remember that class for the rest of our careers. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Taylor Keyes for the class of 2021 Didactic Teacher of the Year. This next individual is another person who always pushed us to do better in clinic. You would have never guessed this was her first year as a clinic staff doctor. She always went out of her way to ensure we were learning as much as we could. She always did a fantastic job at explaining conditions and diseases. Comments from the class are, she was always kind and patient with my errors. She went above and beyond to teach us, 
giving us weekly emails as well as a gonio practice day outside of clinic. She worked so hard to ensure that her students understood all of the steps to proper clinical decision making. She is so smart and did a great job of providing kind and constructive criticism when we are confused about something. And other comments as, she makes great jokes. <laughs> Thank you for being a great role model in clinic. I truly believe that we were all better clinicians because of you. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Katherine Hogan for the Class of 2021 Clinical Teacher of the Year. Hello everyone, my name is Lauren Gottemiller and I'm the third year president and on behalf of the class of 2022, I am pleased to announce that we have chosen Dr. Newman as our clinical teacher of the year. Dr. Newman made our contact lens lab experience extremely straightforward and relaxed. She made applications of lecture material simple and enjoyable. Dr. Newman patiently encouraged us to trust our own judgment and help us develop as critically thinking clinicians. Thank you, Dr. Newman, for making us look forward to the inspiring clinical experience that you provided each week. The class of 2022 has chosen Dr. Jackson as our didactic teacher of the year. Dr. Jackson has always gone above and beyond to enhance our learning experience. This has especially proven true during the pandemic. Dr. Jackson found new ways for us to learn and communicate and was incredibly flexible in finding new ways for us to learn and communicate with him and to each other. He made sure that our education was not compromised during this uncertain time. He has graced us with his professional excellence, humor and charm for the past two years. And we are so thankful for you, Dr. Jackson. Good evening. My name is Anna Britt, and I'm so thankful and excited to present Class of 2023's Clinical and Didactic Teacher of the Year Awards. Legendary, greatest of all time, patient, motivational, optimistic, and genuine are just a few of the qualities this professor embodies. From the very beginning of our first year, she was committed to seeing every student in our class achieve excellence while improving our clinical skills. She always sets high standards for us. But this only made, motivates us to, as she would say, practice, practice, practice even more. She has a way of making us feel encouraged, even when learning challenging new clinical skills. She has this contagious smile and positive personality that lights up any room she walks into. Her genuine enthusiasm for teaching first year theory lab has given us memories to cherish and clinical skills to confidently carry with us. We are so thankful and blessed to have been her last first year students before her retirement. On behalf of Class of 2023, I am honored to present our Clinical Teacher of the Year Award to Dr. Harville. Above and beyond, describe this professor perfectly. He goes above and beyond for his students. He goes above and beyond for faculty and other staff members. He goes above and beyond during unforeseen circumstances like during a pandemic. He makes the most challenging concepts simple to understand. Even when we do not understand something, he is approachable and ready to explain it in a new way. Only a professor as incredible as he can find a way to use Krispy Kreme donuts and his dogs to better explain optics. He genuinely cares about his students and our success here at SEO. Our class is inspired by his work ethic and dedication to providing us with the best education. We are so thankful to have such an incredible professor here at SEO and are excited to continue learning from him. On behalf of class of 2023, I am honored to present our didactic teacher of the year award to Dr. Jackson. Through the generosity of Dr. Charlene and the late Fred Burnett, SCO is proud to award the 2020-2021 Outstanding Faculty Award. The recipient of this prestigious award was selected by fellow members of the faculty to recognize his dedication to teaching, service, and the profession of optometry. This year's winner is Dr. John Mark Jackson. Dr. Jackson is no stranger to this award. He has been recognized multiple times by his peers for his excellence and innovation in teaching. 
But for the past six months, it is not only his teaching that is being recognized, but also his leadership and service to the faculty in assisting us with adapting to online instruction. Starting with the first week of our campus closure, Dr. Jackson assisted faculty with making this abrupt and unanticipated change. His efforts have extended far beyond his own courses and have enabled us to continue to provide our students with the best didactic experience possible in a virtual classroom environment. Dr. Jackson, it is my pleasure to announce you as the winner of the Outstanding Faculty Award for 2020. Not a bad night for Dr. Jackson. Hello, I'm Joe Hauser, Vice President for Student Services. I am pleased to report that the SEO student body currently stands at 539, one of our highest enrollments in over 40 years. All four of our classes represent academic excellence, from GPA and OAT scores to performance that exceeds national averages on the national board examinations. It is hard to believe it's only been three short years since the first year students in the class of 2021 first came to campus. Now they are fourth year students completing clinic assignments in the SEO clinics and across the nation on their externships. Each class continues to benefit from the forward thinking measures SEO has taken to provide the best in optometric education. They're learning firsthand and the significant impact that they can make in the lives of their patients and communities. Today, we also formally welcome the class of 2024 into the SEO community. They're an accomplished group with a diverse body of experiences. They represent individuals from 33 states. These students were selected from a group of 812 applicants. As a class, they have an average undergraduate grade point average of 3.65 and an impressive optometry admission test score of 335. They are all academically prepared to begin their optometric journey. Due to the COVID pandemic, the college has postponed the class's white coat ceremony traditionally held at orientation. The class did sign the SEO honor code at new student orientation three weeks ago. They assemble here as the newest members of the SEO student body. Our city and our medical district communities are proud to welcome them. To all students, we acknowledge and celebrate especially during these trying times, your choice of a lifelong career of caring for others and your dedication to a demanding but educational and fulfilling course of preparation. Congratulations on your hard work and dedication and know that we join you in your success 